Milady. You. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. Which is why you must trust me, Milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who. People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. The gods haven't favored us, have they? My lord, remember our words. Iron from ice. From that which seems hopeless, comes strength. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <coughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the King. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. Your silence is not very encouraging, little lord. 
but I will assume you agree. It would be a very bad idea not to. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. The White Hills had Ironwood. Once. But now those hills are bare. Hence the name. Of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff? We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, no! Ethan! No! What have you done? But no! I don't want no! the brave lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! You no, fucking no, bastards! No, no. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, come on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Uh, Brian! Uh, uh, Lovely meeting, all of you. Uh, we'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Uh, Please! Mother! Stop! Don't let Get off me! Me! Let it go! Uh, Stop uh, that! Help me! Brian! Stop it! Bring it up, Brian! Do something! Ethan? Uh, uh, oh. My son.
This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? <laughs>